Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to all my friends. And how do you do? Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Miss Monica's Circle Time. How are you this morning? How are you feeling? Well, I'm so happy that you're here today. I'm so excited to do circle time with you all, but I think we should start with a morning song because it's morning time. But before we do that, we have to do two things. First, let's make sure our listening ears are on. I think mine are on. Are your listening ears on? Great. Second, let's make sure our looking eyes are on so you can see everything. Everything good? All right. Now let's use our imaginations. Think, think, think really hard and pretend that you hear a good morning train coming. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? I think I hear... Choo-choo! Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo-choo! Listen. Is that our good morning train? I think it is. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo-choo! The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo! Choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends wearing red. Are you wearing red? Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends wearing what color? Yellow. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends. All my friends wearing pink. Choo choo! And we'll say hello to my friends wearing, what color is that? Can you see it? White. Choo choo! And we'll say hello to my friends wearing green. Choo choo! And we'll say hello to my friends, hello friends wearing black. Choo choo! And we'll say hello to my friends, all my friends wearing purple. Choo choo! And we'll say hello to my friends wearing orange. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends wearing, what color is that? Brown. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends wearing blue. Choo choo. And we'll say hello to my friends, all of my friends. And we'll say hello to everyone here in circle. Choo choo. Thank you, everyone, for singing our good morning song. And I'm so happy the good morning train came. All right, bye, good morning train. See you later, good morning train. Now that we're all here, let's find out what day it is today. Hmm. I'm going to use my pointer, by the way. I know that yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday was Sunday, and so today is Monday. Today is Monday. But let's sing all of the days of the week. Can you sing with me? Let's do it together. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. One more time. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Now remember, we said yesterday was Sunday, so we say bye-bye to Sunday, and today is Monday. Today is Monday. Now let me see if I can find Monday, because I have some smaller days. Let's see if I can find Monday. Oh, there it is, right on top, Monday. So we're going to take Monday. We're going to take this Monday and put it up here. And hopefully you can say with me this sentence. Let's say it together. First, I'm going to put Monday, and then we're going to read this sentence together. Today is Monday. 
I'll read it first, then you read it second. Today is Monday. Your turn. Let's read it together. Today is Monday. That's right. Today is Monday. It's the day after Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. That's right. All day long. All day long today. It will be Monday. Monday. And I think that you can help me spell Monday. Do you think you can help me spell it? Let's spell it together. I'm going to take Monday off so we can spell it together. I'll point and you spell with me. M O N D A Y spells Monday. And Monday starts with M. M for Monday. Let's spell it one more time together. M O N D A Y. Monday. Monday. Let's put it back. Today is Monday. Okay, what's next? Next, we have our number of the week. This week, we are going to talk about the number. Let me get it. Let's see who knows this number. We are going to talk about the number. Who knows what number that is? Do you know what number that is? This is number eight. Eight. Wee eight looks almost like two circles, one on top of the other. Almost, right? It looks like two circles almost. Eight. Number eight. That's our number of the week. And I would love it if you would help me count to eight. I have these special, special sticks. And I would love it if you would help me count my sticks. Let's see if I can count eight sticks. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it together. Starting with number one, two, let's keep counting, three, four, oh, we're up to four now. That's four. Five. Oh, I think I have five now. Spread those out. Six. Six sticks so far. Seven. Eight. Eight sticks. Now let's count them one more time. Our number of the week is eight. Let's see if I have eight sticks. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we have eight sticks? I think we do. You did it. Thanks for helping me count. Eight sticks. Eight is our number of the week. Let's try counting eight using our fingers. Are you ready? Let's start with one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight fingers. Did you count eight fingers? Let's do it one more time. Ready? Together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Eight fingers. I'm holding up eight fingers. Were you able to do it? Good trying. Eight fingers. The number eight. Really, really good trying. Thank you so much for doing it with me. Now let's see what is our letter of the week. Hmm. What letter of the week are we going to talk about this week? Let me show you the letter and let's find out who knows what letter this is. Dun, 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 dun. The letter of the week is F. Letter F. 
F says F says Every letter has a sound and F says Can you do that? Can you make that sound with your mouth? F says If you put the top of your teeth on your lip on your bottom lip and go You can make that sound F says Every letter has a sound and F says Were you able to make that sound? Good try. Very good try. F says Hmm, I wonder if I can think of some things that start with the letter F. F for frog. F for fish. F for fan. F for fire. F for flower and F for flag. That's the letter F. Wow, thank you for sounding out those words with me. Letter F, all of those words start with the letter F. F is really special. Now I'm going to take F off of our board and hold it up so you can see it again. And this time I want us to use our pointer finger. Can you get your pointer finger? You just hold up one finger, this pointer finger, Hold it up and we're going to use it to trace the letter F. Now you pretend you have a letter F and you can trace it right along with me. So hold up your pointer finger and we're going to start at the top of letter F and go down, stop. Then take our pointer back to the top and go across, stop. And then take our pointer finger to the middle and go across, stop. And that's the letter F. Now let's do it a little bit faster. Point your finger up, go down, across on the top, across in the middle, stop. That is letter F. F says f. F, 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 f. Every letter has a sound and F says f. Thank you, that's letter F, okay? putting letter F back on the board. Now we have to look outside today, look outside our window, and hmm, we have to determine what the weather is today. What is the weather like where you live? If you look out your window, can you see what the weather looks like? What does it look like? If you use those looking eyes, what does the weather look like? Does it look like it's a sunny day? Does it look like it's raining? Does it look like it's snowing outside? Or does it look like it's cloudy outside? What does the weather look like just by looking with your eyes? If I look with my eyes out of my window, where I live, the weather is sunny. It's a sunny day. But I also know because I went outside that it is very, very cold today. It's a very, very cold day. The sun is shining, but it's cold. So let me see if I have a picture that can help us describe what the weather looks like and feels like. The weather is, let me get my pictures. Here's my little bag with all my weather pictures. So I'm going to open up my little bag with all my weather pictures and let's see which picture describes the weather today. Now remember, where I live, where I live, the weather looks sunny, really sunny. The sun is shining bright, but it's very cold outside. So let's see if we can find a sun picture. Does this look like a sun picture? Nah, this is cloudy. How about, let's see, this one. Oh, this picture is a picture of wind for windy, but it's not windy out. I see a lot of sun. It's really, really sunny. How about this picture? What do you think? Oh no, this is a picture of rain. It's not raining out, not today. Today is sunny. So let me see if I can find it. I think I may have found one. How about this picture? Yes, this is a picture of the sun. And since it looks sunny out, 
The weather is sunny. We're going to put a picture of the sun. Now let's read this together. First, I will read it, then we'll read it together, okay? The weather, ooh, let me move it down a little. Can you see that? The weather is sunny. The weather is sunny. Can you read it now with me? Let's do it together. The weather is sunny. The weather is sunny out. And my friend, Mr. Weatherbear, this is Mr. Weatherbear. He is not wearing any clothing yet and he needs us to help him get dressed for the day. And it's sunny out, we know it looks sunny. And I also told you that it feels cold. It's sunny and it feels cold. So what can we dress Mr. Weatherbear in? I have a bag with Mr. Weatherbear's clothes in it. Now remember we said it looks sunny out, but it feels really, really cold. So let's see what we should put on Mr. Weatherbear's feet. It's sunny and cold. Should we put on rain boots or should we just put sneakers? It's not raining out. It's sunny and cold. Do you think Mr. Weatherbear should wear rain boots or sneakers? Hmm. If you said sneakers, I think I agree with you. We can put sneakers on Mr. Weatherbear. Let's put on his sneakers. All right, Mr. Weatherbear, there go your sneakers. Now, Mr. Weatherbear has to wear some pants outside. I'm wearing jeans today. And I have some jeans for Mr. Weatherbear, so let's put some jeans on Mr. Weatherbear. Because he can't wear shorts outside, right? It's too cold for shorts. So we're going to put jeans on Mr. Weatherbear. Now, we said it was cold outside, so should we put on a light, light jacket? Or should we put on a coat with a scarf for Mr. Weatherbear? If it's cold outside, do you think he needs a light jacket or a coat? with a scarf. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, if you said a coat with a scarf, I think I will agree. Let's put on the coat with the scarf. Okay, Mr. Weatherbear, we're going to put on your coat and scarf so he can stay nice and warm outside because it's cold outside. And since it's cold, maybe we should put something on his head. That's right, on his head. What should we put on his head? You tell me, what should we put on his head? Should we put an umbrella on his head? Nah, we don't need an umbrella, it's not raining. Should we put a, I don't know, should we put sunglasses on his head? Well, it is a little sunny out, but what will keep his head warm? Will the sunglasses keep his head warm? No, but I have an idea, hmm. Maybe a hat. What do you think? Should we put a hat on his head? I have a little hat for Mr. Weatherbear, a winter hat with a pom-pom on top. Do you agree? Good, let's put on his hat. Oh, Mr. Weatherbear, that's a small hat, right? We're gonna have to get a bigger hat for Mr. Weatherbear, but for now, I think that'll work. Maybe we can make a hat for Mr. Weatherbear that will cover his ears too. What do you think? You think we should make a new hat for him? I agree. I think we should make a new hat for Mr. Weatherbear, but for now, that's okay. So he's wearing a hat, scarf, a coat, some jeans, and some sneakers. I think he'll be nice and warm and ready to go outside. Remember, the weather looks sunny, but it also feels cold. So I think Mr. Weatherbear is ready to go. You think so? I agree. Now the last thing I want to go over is our shape of the week. Let's read it together. Shape of the week. Oh, I'm missing my pointer. Pointer. This pointer helps me to point to all the different things on the board. So shape of the week. Shape of the week. Our shape of the week is the square. The square is our shape of the week. And what makes the square so special is that it has four sides four sides. Let's put the square up. The square is our shape of the week. Help me count the sides of the square. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
four sides on a square. There are four sides on a square. That's right. So our shape of the week is the square. Our letter of the week is F. Our number of the week is number eight. And we said the weather today is sunny, but it feels cold. And today is Monday. Today is Monday. Thank you all for joining me for our circle time. Circle time with Miss Monica. Now, before we go, I think we should end with one special song. So we need to go to our song bag. Here's our song bag. And we need to pick a song for today. Let's see what song comes on top. Oh, look at what song's on top. Dun -dun. This is our song for today. Oh, let's pick it up. Okay, come on, song of the day. Our song of the day is if you're happy and you know it, that's our song of the day. So you can help me sing. We'll do three different actions. We'll clap our hands, we can stomp our feet, and we can shout hooray, okay? So those will be our three actions, our three actions for if you're happy and you know it. Let's start on three. One, two, three. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Oh, listen to my feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. And if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Awesome singing. Thank you for singing that with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Clap, 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 clap. Clap for yourself. Great singing. Thank you for singing. And if you didn't sing, thank you for trying, if you tried. And if you just listen, thank you for listening. <laughs> I'm so happy you joined me for Miss Monica Circle Time. I will meet you here again tomorrow for Tuesday. We'll do Tuesday Circle Time. I hope to see you. Thanks for joining me. Bye.